guys, it's Moira and welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to do something a little bit different. It is currently May 7th as I film this, which is crazy to think that it's almost the end of my freshman year at Columbia. So before I decided to pack up everything in my room, I wanted to take you guys on a little bit of a room tour so you can see what it's like living at Columbia. I am currently living in Carmen Hall, which is notorious for being the party dorm of freshmen. Um, it is a suite style dorm, so there's typically four people to a bathroom. I'm lucky because I'm in one of the handicapped suites, and so it's actually just me and my roommate sharing a bathroom, which is really nice. It's also air conditioned, and I'm living on the 12th floor, and so I face campus, and I have a fantastic view of Queens, the Hudson River um, campus, etc. Um, it is rainy today though, so I will be putting some extra videos I've taken in the past and some photos from some fantastic sunsets um, in the video as well, so you guys get to see what I wake up to, which is really, really nice. Um, but before I take too long, I'm going to get onto the video and show you guys a little bit of what it's like to live here as a Columbia freshman. So this is my hallway on Carmen 12, and here's my room. That is from Akayo. They put that there, um, but I'm gonna take you guys in. And here's the entrance. Disregard the messiness um, is clean out time. But here is the entrance to our room. Um, that is mine over there. And we have this um, nice refrigerator um, freezer combo, as well as a microwave. Okay, walking in, this is our bathroom. Um, it is actually a handicapped bathroom because we are in a two person suite. Um, so we do have some problems with water escaping on the sides, but like nothing that we can't manage. It is really spacious and we have a removable shower head. Um, which is nice and of course there's my toiletries at the bottom and there's my roommates and then hello going on we can enter my room um the view honestly is spectacular uh you can see all the way to the hudson over there and campus it's actually um graduation so they have all these tents up for may 18th and typically you can see to Queens and everything over there, but it is a little foggy because it's been raining. So I'm going to start with my desk, which is right behind me. I'm gonna turn it around. Uh, so there's nothing really spectacular about my desk. Um, I'm gonna show some things that I got. Um, on the top level, I have this lamp right here. I believe I got it somewhere online. I honestly, I did a lot of planning and had things shipped up here because it is so far from Texas. On top, I have a Columbia pendant, which is coming down, but you know, I'm about to move out, so why bother fixing it? <laughs> um, on top, I also have this really, really cute um, three photo holder. Um, the third photo is behind here, but I have a bunch of cards in front of it. I got this from TJ Maxx. Um, as well as some of this other stuff. And I just have like some perfumes and candles, which by the way, candles, candles are not allowed technically. Um, neither are Keurigs and a lot of other things in here, but they don't really check the dorms and as long as you're responsible and don't do anything dangerous, it's okay. Coming to the second part, um, all of these books are from first year literature humanities, besides Bridgerton, of course. Um, I was required to buy them. Um, some people can get them online, which is nice. And over here, I have this um, really cute jewelry holder, which I think I also got from TJ Maxx or Marshalls, one of the two chains. Down here, I have this Keurig machine. Um, it's actually one of their smaller ones. It's really skinny and it's good for dorms. Um, I use it a lot for my teas and stuff and sometimes for coffee. I have some other mugs 
my Apikai Omega cup, which is cute. This I actually, um, it's special Harney and Sons um, green tea from the Met Cloisters. Um, I love green tea, and when I saw that, I knew I had to get it. Um, it's a jewelry box from my boyfriend. Um, and then here I have this um, jewelry stand. I also believe I got it from TJ Maxx for just six bucks, which was a steal. Um, I put my earrings and necklaces that I'm currently using on it and then some other like random bracelets and stuff. And then this right here is probably one of the most useful things. Um, it is a light up mirror, a little dirty right now. Um, I use this to do my makeup a lot and then also um, it's the one mirror I have besides the bathroom so definitely recommend getting one of these for makeup and of course I have my computer another thing that was a great buy was this three-tier storage rack um, a lot of people have it in their dorms so I'm just another person telling you that you should get it it is a great buy um, and I'll show you why um, on the top I have this little like tea collection slash coffee setup I have these syrups that I got from TJ Maxx for just seven dollars um, and then I have all of my teas in here these are just a few I have more I'm um, actually in the lower storage unit and then I have these and this really cute thing that I got from TJ Maxx as well I mean, this is basically a TJ Maxx video at this point. On the second level, I have some more um, dishes and stuff. Um, my bowls, I use those a lot for cereal, um, coffee cups, etc. And then the bottom is a bunch of coffee mugs, um, water bottles, and storage. I also have in the back um, extra tea so it's kind of like that was that very useful buy one of these and on to my bed I'm honestly really proud of how this turned out um, I did a lot of collections I knew I wanted to have like a pink white gray theme so this comforter um, I got online either from Wayfair or another um, online place uh, it was only $50 which is really nice honestly these um this was from tj maxx again definitely recommend buying from tj maxx and this i bought from amazon after i got here because i wanted to have an extra pink blanket over here um this was a gift from somebody um and the rest of these i kind of like bought separately this was from the columbia bookstore um really cute but really expensive so um, this was $5 from Target. I honestly, when I first got here, I was going to wait to buy a bunch of stuff in New York instead of bringing it back from Texas, but everything was sold out, so I had to go for this. So, yeah. These two I got on Amazon. I bought the pillow covers and then I had to buy um, pillows to go inside. Um, that was from Target. I don't have sheets on right now, and this was just an extra from the comforter set. So, yeah. Very, very nice. I think I will decrease the amount of throw pillows I have next year because it is a little annoying to put them up, but very, very cute. Before coming up here, I printed out about 800 photos, which is actually a lot less expensive than you think if you get the 4x6s from walmart but anyways i have like a huge collection of photos from travels friends and stuff from the past four years and this is what it came out to be it's really really cute and i really love it and these lights that i have i also got from amazon once again i planned it out months before and got them for my birthday so i was definitely planning in advance for a kind of like pink white theme so this is my window seal. Overall, I kind of wanted to go for a more simplistic theme, but I really like the way it turned out. I bought two of these from, guess where, TJ Maxx to buy 
or to hold my socks. So in this one over here, I have all of my short socks. Um, and then over there, I have my fuzzy socks. So a little symmetry going on. This I ended up buying about a month in. It's a humidifier. And honestly, if you have a really dry dorm, this is a great buy. I got it for $20 off of Amazon and it helps if the air is um, causing you a dry throat or making you feel like you have a cold even though you don't. Over here I have a cute little picture of my family and then up here I have these really cute um, photos. I actually bought them from the Musée d'Orsay in Paris over the summer and I thought they would make really great wall art and honestly they do. I really like them and a lot of people do that here. I actually bought a bunch of photos that are similar of paintings and art from the different museums around here and so next year I'm going to make a cute collage on the wall of photos and art pieces just like that. Um, also a lot of Degas. Um, I love those paintings in that era. Moving on to some of the last parts. This chair I also got for my birthday. Um, it's honestly been a great add. Um, it was a little more on the expensive side, but if you do have the option, definitely buy a chair. Um, anytime we have guests over, they sit in it. It's a really great addition to have. Um, behind the chair, it does a really great job of covering up my laundry hamper. Um, and then I just have some more storage around here. This I actually bought when I first moved up here. Um, it is a rollable shopping cart. A lot of people in New York have these and it served me really well for when I was shopping for dorm supplies. But to be honest, people around campus don't really use these for shopping. So unless if you need it, I'd probably say don't buy one. Um, you can just use large reusable um, shopping bags for any time you need groceries and finally my closet this little wardrobe that came with it on top I have two bins um, to hold uh, my purses and shopping bags in the back which I use for grocery um, and then here I have a bunch of snacks it's a little sparse because it's the end of the year um, usually I have a lot more and they're actually like all flooded on here but I'm trying to clean up so those are really nice I got these from Target um, and this I think was in that TJ Maxx set now opening my closet just excuse if it looks a little messy <laughs> um, I have um, all of my clothes here. It's a little packed, honestly, because I came up here and I had to buy a lot of clothing to suit New York City, because obviously New York City weather is way different from Texas. Um, so I have like lots and lots of coats and stuff. Honestly, the coats take up half my closet and then the other half is like spring slash kind of warmish clothing. As for on top, I just have a bunch of miscellaneous storage up here. This is where I keep, um, like I have NyQuil. Um, I have my laundry stuff, um, cleaning supplies, Q-tips for some reason, um, fabric straightener, There's, it's a steamer. Um, basically like any kind of storage is up here, which is really nice and convenient. And finally, down here I have my shoes which again it's a little packed at the moment but a lot of these i had to buy when i got up here especially sneakers like sneakers are a must for college campuses and for new york in general because you are doing a lot of walking so that is it for this video um if you liked um seeing what my dorm looked like then please like and subscribe below and if you guys would like to see anything else um, regarding um, dorm room necessities, um, things to buy from New York City, clothing, just anything, then definitely put it down in the comments. And other than that, I will see you guys later. Bye!